I decided to wear a black shirt knowing it's hot outside and it's hot in this car and I live in Florida if y'all didn't even know and I could really just say it's my fault because I decided to do this I did not want to wait till it was nighttime to do this because it was going to be hot either way I don't want to turn the air on because it's super super loud and y'all not even gonna hear me <sighs> let's just get to it the window is down and it's no help hey y'all welcome welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a girl talk for you guys this is episode two of my girl talk series today's topic is about self-love self-confidence learning to love yourself just all of that my camera is making me look like i'm sweating and i'm really not my face is kind of like you know that's not even a point okay? this topic that i'm about to speak on is kind of mainly the most popular topics that everybody talks about in their girl talks because it's very important to have self-love and you guys suggested this topic many of you guys suggested this topic so i'm just going to be talking about self-love today first of all i feel like self-confidence self-love you can gain it but you can also lose it and i feel like a lot of people don't even mention it because people like to run about to have self-love you gotta get self-confidence but what about me losing that self-love and self-confidence you know what i mean because a lot of people start off with self-confidence then they start losing it and then gain it losing it a lot of people gain their self-confidence and a lot of people also lose their self-confidence at the same time you know what I mean because it's not every day where somebody says oh yeah I love this about myself and then there's some days where it's like oh I don't like this about myself you know what I mean so yeah I just had to throw that out there because a lot of people don't mention it yeah I feel like a lot of y'all think that once you have that self-confidence that self-confidence is going to be there forever trust me it's not I have not met one person that has been confident their whole life there are some days where you may feel like you don't like this about yourself or you just having bad days and then there are some days where you are confident where you do have that self-love where you do love certain things about yourself but yeah basically what i'm saying is some people can be happy with their self and then there are some days where they're just back to stage one where they're not happy like how they were before to gain self-love you should take time away from everything and spend time with yourself and let me tell y'all take my advice because just take my advice you need to spend time with yourself i feel like a lot of people don't do that especially me well now i have been but then i have not spent no time of time with myself like you could do pretty much anything to spend time with yourself you can go on dates with yourself you can go thrifting with yourself you can get your nails done by yourself your hair did whatever whatever to just gain your self-confidence back so for me i randomly get cute i feel like a lot of girls do this but especially me i randomly get cute i put on my lashes put on some lip balm because i don't wear lip gloss like how i used to anymore fix my hair up just change up my top or whatever and i just start making hella tiktoks because that's just what makes me happy and also distract myself from whatever is bothering me at that time everybody starts from stage one and builds their way up i have not known nobody that just came out the womb and said boom i'm the baddest be in the world <laughs> i'm hurt i mean if you did then congratulations okay but not a lot of us have a lot of us have that certain thing or certain things that we don't like about ourselves that's the same thing that can tie to insecurities a lot of people are insecure about certain things about their self let me tell y'all me now i'm not really insecure about anything honestly i love myself i've been learning to love myself i've never tried to compare myself to anybody that i've seen like you got that and i got it years ago i used to like not like how my face was because i used to have a lot of dark spots i can you not I used to have a lot of dark spots i used to have acne it was just oh my god it's a butterfly and honestly i did not like how my face looked at all so i finally found me a skincare routine and i followed it followed it followed it every single day and now my face is looking as i want it to look yes my face has a few spots on them that's because i've been had them on my face so i think they're just there permanently but other than that i learned to love my skin for how it is if i can't change certain things about it then i can't so i'm just have to learn to love it. you know what i mean y'all should also do the same i know there's a lot of y'all that don't get called pretty or beautiful on a daily but let me tell y'all y'all are very beautiful you guys are very pretty you guys are gorgeous if nobody has ever told you that i'm telling you guys now you all are amazing you guys are great you guys are just everything okay? a lot of people well a lot of girls since this is the girl talk let's talk about girls a lot of females would be quick to bring you down tear you apart why i don't know i thought it was we're supposed to be lifting up each other but nah it's really the opposite we're females we should be lifting each other up but uh, y'all don't even do that there's going to be females that also do not like you for what who knows females just find a reason not to like you and they will get friends they will recruit other friends to not like you either for what no reason at all there'll be a lot of girls like i said that will tear you down and girls that would just not like you for no reason and that's fine not the whole world is supposed to like you there's certain people that do like you and there's certain people that don't there's girls that don't like you don't force them to like you because it don't even matter like if they don't like you they don't like you females will hate if you don't got nobody hating on you then you're doing something wrong back in middle school there was tons of girls that did not like me i wouldn't say i used to get bullied i got talked about and honestly 
I kind of did let it phase me a little bit, but once I got to like what seventh, eighth grade, nah, seventh grade, cause sixth grade I got into my first fight. I was talked about and I let it get to me. But after that, I learned and I told myself like I can't be letting these females get to me because when you let them get to you, like you basically showing them that yourself, okay? And they're gonna continue to talk about you. And and they're gonna continue to bring you down and you who wants that you know so me i just let them talk and there's probably still girls that still talk about me to this day and i don't even care because you want to say hey to youtube what's up what, what video are you doing a girl talk so yeah that's basically the point that i'm trying to make i have always told myself that i was the most beautiful person walking on planet earth okay and y'all have to tell yourself this too one thing that i've learned in the past few years that i've been living was that females are gonna hate on you people are gonna hate on you for no reason honestly you can't be out here forcing people to like you just don't even waste your time whatever the next person is doing don't even bother me no more like y'all can do whatever y'all want yes i see you but you're not catching my attention y'all don't bother me and that's exactly how y'all should be thinking when i be in school people be so worried about me like girl before getting into dealings with anybody or just before getting in a relationship in general you have to have self-love you can't get into a relationship and not loving yourself first because let me tell you if you're in a relationship and you're putting that other person before you or you love that person more than you love yourself self-love should come first okay before getting in a relationship love yourself first if you don't love yourself right now you gotta take a hold on a relationship thing and you need to start loving yourself before you be out here loving somebody else people all around the world talking about girls supporting girls we have to support other females but y'all don't even do that y'all don't even be practicing what y'all preaching for real like don't say oh yeah i support other females but turn around and talk about everybody you see when i tell y'all y'all females tear each other down so bad it's so sad not everybody is going to think like you not everybody's going to have the same mindset as you everybody has their own certain ways that they can make their self happy so if you you don't know how to make yourself happy when you're feeling down you got to find out what you like to do find out something that can make yourself happy bring yourself back up what i'm saying is that you also have to learn who you are you have to learn who you are as a person so for me if i'm feeling down or just anything what i like to do i like to dance and i like to read when i'm feeling down or i'm just stressed out get up and dance i put some music on turn my speaker on I just started jamming some music and I started dancing. And like everything just goes away. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is if you guys are upset, do something that you like to do. Go somewhere that you like to go to just clear your mind. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Self-love is actually very hard to gain. Cause don't let these people tell you, oh yeah, all you gotta do is love yourself. Well, how? Like you can't just boom i love myself like there's actually a process to gaining that self-confidence also gaining that self-love because i know a lot of people that has been bullied before been talked about before just been anything it's kind of hard for them to gain that self-confidence and that self-love due to their past and honestly i most definitely 100 percent understand there's a lot of people that has been bullied like i'm talking about to the max bully it's kind of hard for them to gain you know that self-confidence you know because they used to never stand up for themselves so it's not gonna be easy for that person that used to be bullied for years not just for a day just for years to be able to stand up for themselves so it's a whole process to actually gain that confidence to stand up for themselves i know a lot of people that have not been called pretty on a daily basis let me tell y'all y'all are very beautiful people will call people pretty if they think they're pretty but honestly everybody is freaking beautiful y'all have to start building y'all self-confidence now so nobody could bring you down in the future somebody were to sit here and call me ugly just now i'm gonna look at you like girl now you know dang well you just talking right now because you trying to bring me down little do you know i'm confident you call me ugly that's your opinion but me i think i'm the baddest being in the world we literally live in a world where people just hate for no reason and it sucks let's also talk about body confidence because it kind of does tie into this whole thing anyway so let's just talk about it if there is something that you don't like about yourself and you know good and well that you can change that do what you have to do to change that you know what i mean if there's something on your body that's just there forever and you can't do nothing about it you're gonna have to learn to love it you gotta turn that insecurity to something positive like you're gonna have to learn to love it let's say i have a birthmark on my face a few people they have birthmarks on their face and i heard a lot of stories where they didn't like that birthmark on their face at first but they learned to love it because not a lot of people have a birthmark on their face it's very unique to have one on your face back to what i was saying before if you know you could change something on your body that you don't like stop complaining and do something about it you know what i mean i want to get a lot stronger i want to have more upper body strength i just want to tone my body and this summer what did i do i've been to the gym every single day if there's days where i can't make it to the gym i work out at home and you also have to be consistent with it too like you can't say one day i'm gonna do this 
but don't do it like the rest of the week or just the rest of the whole time that you have time to do it so for me wanting to tone my body i head to the gym i do the proper workouts that i have to do to tone my body i do just that but if you're in the same position as me and y'all want to tone your body y'all want to get stronger or you want to get muscular but you don't go to the gym or you don't even try working out at home or you don't try eating the right thing then there should be no reason why you complain because you're the one stopping yourself from doing what you could do to change how you want to look but if there's things that you can't change about yourself you're just gonna have to leave it alone and learn to love it a lot of y'all go based off things that are said on social media and when i tell you i can make a whole girl talk about this we could talk about social media so i might just do that so i'm not even gonna speak a lot on social media but social media really ties to the whole confidence thing like when it comes to self-confidence body confidence the top of the food chain is social media like y'all let social media bring y'all down so much to the point where y'all listen to every beauty standard social standard that y'all see stop letting social media control y'all life and it's so sad that y'all live based on social media like me i don't even be on instagram like i don't even be on no social media platform for real i'll be on it you know time to time day to day but i don't be on here trying to do what y'all be trying to do that's why, I, that's why i stay off social media because the things that people be having to say and it'd be so sad to see people younger than me or older than me or around my age trying to look like the next person they see on social media because social media said change this about yourself they actually go ahead and change it if you ain't getting a billion dollars for it why y'all doing it that's the only way i wouldn't blame y'all for doing something that y'all see now what is even the beauty standard now because the beauty standard changes time after time i feel like right now the beauty standard or like what people expect you to have is the biggest butts the biggest boob the curves baby you do not need that love yourself for who you are not everybody is supposed to be built like the same person if everybody was built the same everybody would be looking the same that's just like nobody's different like you want to be different you need to be glad that you are different like i'm glad to not look like somebody else don't be trying to be out here looking like somebody else because social media tells y'all to you feeling even more clueless on if this is how you should look or would people love you more because you look like this first of all you should not be worried about how other people would feel if you look some type of way you should love yourself if people got something to say about your body let them talk usually the standards shift often probably the next generation it would be who knows what but y'all making the mistakes that y'all are now and then when the trend dies out and now there's a whole new beauty standard what you gonna do change your body again now you're really messing up yourself years ago if i am not mistaken having a big butt and big boobs and having curves wasn't even really a thing back then it wasn't all that but now a lot of people out here getting plastic surgery i'm not against it. if you want to get a bbl get a bbl if you want a brazilian butt lift baby go get one i'm not stopping you but i feel like if you're doing it just because social media tells you to like why what, what's the reason you can't keep chasing on what society thinks is pretty you have to chase for what you think is beautiful to you everybody is built a certain way and you're built a certain way everybody looks different everybody is built and looks some different way and that's how it should be you, you should not be wanting to look like somebody else but just a daily reminder you are very beautiful love yourself your body looks great okay look in the mirror and tell yourself every day that you're beautiful tell yourself that you are what god made you because god made you the way he wants to make you and you disliking what he created y'all need to start being comfortable being in your own skin because this world that we live in is filled with judgment there's a lot of people that will judge you people are going to judge you for whatever you have people talk about my youtube channel do i care no because you're not going to stop me just because you don't like me doing youtube what does that have to do with me you know what i mean but that's basically what i'm saying just because people don't like certain things about you don't mean that you have to change yourself or somebody else we are not puppets to nobody we are not dolls we're not going to let nobody play with us social media will continue to change their standards from time to time so stick to how your body looks now do not change it unless there's something that you really need to change and that's going to make you happy then do so but if you're doing it because social media tells you to don't do it you got to stay true to yourself that's the only way you're going to win in life the only thing that you're going to have the only person that you're going to have in life is yourself if you're not there for yourself who is so yeah that's basically all i had to say i didn't want to ramble too much because it is super super hot and me talking too much is making me hotter but it's whatever i wanted to get this video out for you guys i wanted to come outside because i'm always in the house anyway okay, i really hope i spoke some things that got into your heads because a lot of people are not gonna tell you some stuff that i told y'all so i'm i'm just letting y'all know what it is and what it ain't love yourself you guys are very beautiful inside and out do not let nobody tell you to change anything about yourself because like i said if you don't love yourself who will that's basically the end of this video i don't know how long this video is gonna be but i hope it's long enough make sure you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe also hit the Post notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos like this. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye. See you in this video.